What's up, everyone? Who's this? I don't know! <laughs> we don't know. This is uh, Sean Long, RGT85, YouTube sensation, phenomenon, and uh, we're in the bathroom. Um, we are. Lighting in the actual room. We're sharing a hotel room. We're at Southeast Game Exchange, South Carolina. Uh, the lighting, half the bulbs are blown out, <laughs> so it sucks. So we figured I'll come to the bathroom. I'll take a shit on the toilet. I'll take a shower. Yeah, and a shower. Or a bath. Both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Um, <laughs> this is the toilet, not there. Um, I asked uh, you guys to provide some questions for Sean for this video. It's like an interview, a and a it's kind of a whatever. Um, no real structure to it, but I'm gonna, we're going to get to those questions. I'll ask just a few random ones. First, just a, a little bit about Sean Long and the YouTube land. What can you tell us? Um, I make videos about like retro games and Switch games and... Sometimes I do lists and stuff like that. How long have you been on YouTube? Uh, over two years, about two and a half years almost. I've been on YouTube for ten years, and he is this close to passing me in subscribers. So I am not doing something right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> switch videos. Switch videos. <laughs> Would in him have both skyrocketed from switch videos. Uh, let me ask, uh, Tony Lindsay asks... How he grew up to be such a sexy, burly man. How did that happen? Is it? I think I have one of the answers right here. A lot of Diet Dr. Pepper and a lot of pizza. Um, we had that have, for dinner? Yeah, I have a terrible diet. A lot of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's pretty much it. Good things for the children watching at home. Um, Lolita, well, what does he like to do besides video games? And, and YouTube, and going to gaming cons. So basically nothing to do with video games. What else do you like to do? Um, nap, play guitar. Um, Are you good at it? Yeah, I've been playing for like um, almost 20 years now. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. That, <laughs> that's fucking weird to say. Um, uh, yeah, so playing guitar, um, uh, watching older movies, 80s, 90s. I actually started getting into a lot of... Um, 40s and 50s, um, both horror and monster movies. I really like the monster movies from that time frame because they had to be very creative, so yeah. a, lot, a lot of that. Well, physical props, yes. always good. Uh, question from me, um, I guess, what would you be doing if you weren't doing YouTube stuff right now, like in your free time right now? Uh, that's, I, I don't know, honestly. Like, I guess before I started doing YouTube stuff, I just played more games maybe mm -hmm. and i wouldn't say that it's necessarily like impacted the amount of games i've played i think just you know the older you get the less time you have um but yeah i don't really know what i would I would be doing maybe have like maybe acting like an adult more or something you know Go going on actual vacations not con convention right. vacations <laughs> um john riggs uh, he didn't ask a question he just uh changed my post he kind of did like an autocorrect um, it says, instead of, I'm going to shoot a video with Sean, like a Q&A, he just changed it to, I'm going to shoot Sean Long. I mean, that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I've had a gun pulled on me before, so, you know. Was it by John Riggs? I can't say. Okay. I don't want to get the end of courts involved. <laughs> uh, let's see, Scotty McKay, how much a month <laughs> does he spend on smokes and Diet Dr. Pepper versus spending on video games? Which do you spend more? Um, I spend more on video games, okay. but you got to figure, um, I could, I mean, I could ballpark it. Let's say a pack a day at, um, 450-ish. Well, we'll, we'll say four because sometimes I don't smoke a pack a day, but let's say that, you know, four times 30, that's 120, um, at least a two liter, which is, about, math. which is about a dollar. And then, um, you know, a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Peppers, anywhere from, you know, three to four bucks, depending if it's on sale. So, um, I, I would say probably... These were free. <laughs> These were from a church group that left them downstairs and we took them. So. Um, probably, I'd say probably, you know, $300 a month. Oh, my God. Um, between them. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's better than crack. It is. I guess it's better than crack. <laughs> Dr. Pepper probably has some crack in it. Uh, what game in your collection has your favorite memory of getting it? Of getting it? Yeah, like, I guess the hunt or pursuit of it. Um, I would say, I would say, honestly, Metal Gear Solid 3, um, because that was a very interesting thing, because at that time, 
we didn't have a, a GameStop in my town. So we had to drive like 40, 45 minutes away to the nearest GameStop to pick up that game um, when it launched at uh, midnight. And my buddy, who's not my buddy anymore because he's a kleptomaniac. Um, he stole it. No, he stole a, a Metal Gear poster off the wall from me oh. while we were there <laughs> at GameStop. That and is- then, like, I remember going, we got back to my house and, like, and we had, like, a couple girls over and stuff. And, like, I ended up kicking everyone out because they kept, like, talking during the intro scene. And I was getting really pissed. And I was like, you got to get out of here. I'm trying to play this. And, like, I literally kicked everyone out of my house. That is pre- pretty memorable. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Next up, uh, let's see. We got Julian Rodriguez. He asks, what's up with Woods and Billy's bromance? Do you know? I mean, they're just, they're sort of kindred spirits, you know. Um, both work out a lot. Both have long hair. It's weird that, like, when Wood gets near Billy, Wood's beard starts to grow more. Yeah, To like, match Billy's beard. Like, and he started growing it out more, like, a week or two before um, Game On. I was like, you need to trim that. And he's like, no, I'm growing it out. I think it looks good. And I'm like... <laughs> All right, that's fine. But yeah, it does It does seem like there's some sort of correlation. I mean, they'll have nice-looking babies. Yeah, when, when they finally do have a baby. Yeah. It's getting pretty close, I think. Um, Eddie asks, Sean Long? More like Schlong. Am I right? You are right. You, yeah, completely. That is the correct, uh, correct nickname for this guy. Um, Valerie Chambers, why don't you want your red wings, Sean? That, that's disgusting. <laughs> we won't go any farther there on that one. Uh, Tony, does he even bang bang? Yeah. Bang, bang bang! Bang bang all day. Tony is the bang bang master. So yes, he does bang bang all day long. Uh, let's see. We got ask, uh, Carlos asks, uh, ask him to play Troll and, t- <laughs> Troll and I all the way through. No, no. I, I don't think it's possible. He did? You just did a review on your channel? Yeah, and the game just kept... You know, glitches, and then it started crashing. It wouldn't read the cartridge. You know, it took me like five times to put the cartridge in because I still buy physical games. You should. Um, yeah, you should. everyone should. Um, yeah, I, I, I honestly don't think it's possible to finish that game just because of how broken it is. Show off your shirt real quick. just to In Karki We Trust. Little shout out. We always have to, you know, any video ever, you really should mention the game wizard. I mean... And you got a new sign. He on did his get building. And also I think the Game Wizard has a new rap song up on his yep, channel. He does. Brand new, just released today at the time of this filming. Aaron Kashersky, go check out his channel. New rap song. Alright, my turn to ask uh, a question. Um, what do you do in real life for <laughs> for real monies? Not that fake YouTube monies. I sell drugs legally mm-hmm. as a uh, certified pharmacy technician. Uh, at, a, at a big chain, little chain? No, it's, a, it's an independent. We just oh. have two stores um, locally, so I work at both of them, depending where they need me. So if you need your boner pills, you can get, get them for you, probably. I can. Uh, let's see, we got James L. Armstrong asks, what does RGT stand for? Um, so the channel was originally called Retro Gaming Tube 85, and um, my friend Gilly the Kid told me that I was going to hate that name in about three months because it was way too long. Mm-hmm. I told him he was an idiot, but he was completely right, so I just shortened it. The longer it takes for someone to type something out, they're probably going to be like, I don't want to type that out and find that channel. Yeah. So just make it smaller. And in my case, I made it longer. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom Kwaka? Kwa- uh, Kwaka? Oh, that's uh, that's um, D- Dee's friend. Oh, Tom! Yeah. Oh, okay. Tom asks, does a bear shit in the woods? Yeah. I do shit in the woods. <laughs> All right. They call me... The, they I, call you the bear? Well, you know, like in the... the gay sexual preference yeah, way? there you go. Okay. I mean, you know... You're, you're fuzzy. He did, he did ask me to lick his chest hair earlier. <laughs> I did not do that. <laughs> um, we got Bubba Myers. Bubba asks, what comes first after Mexican food? Hard shit... Or liquidy shit. Liquid. I guess it depends on the person. Yeah, you know. mine, mine is always going to be liquid. Do you Taco Bell? Sometimes. I can't do it anymore. I shit myself too many times after Taco Bell. I, I usually eat real Mexican food, though, because yeah. the, Mex- the real Mexican place is close to my house on Taco Bell. So. Um, Ali B, how small can a penis be and it still be considered a penis? Um, Should we ask Jeremy Stubbs? Yeah, little okay. Stubbs. Stubbs can answer this for us. <laughs> Be a modus cabotus. 
Obviously, that's not your real name. <laughs> um, why does uh, RGT smoke cigs instead of vaping? Doesn't he know vape is cooler? Um, well, honestly, whenever I use a vape, I cough a lot, and I don't do that with cigarettes, so... I, I, I don't own a vape. That's the special ingredient. Yeah, like, I don't own a vape or anything, but, like, sometimes I'll borrow one at, like, work and just try it, and, like, ah! and, like, my cigarettes don't do that, so I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> um, Steven, this is a long question from Steven Lombardo. Uh, since you are a YouTube celebrity, what kind of advantages do you get when out in public? Uh, any free meals, hot women's phone numbers, private movie screenings, uh, wild movie star parties, movie, a lot of movie shit. Apparently, do you go to the movies for free with movie stars? That's the question. No, I, I yeah. well, first off, I'm not a YouTube celebrity. Um, You're getting there. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, I, occasionally I'll get recognized. Um, I'd say it's more strange in my own town when people I don't know recognize me. Tell that story real quick. So, the short version. Yeah, I was, at a, I was at a gas station pumping gas. I was already in a pissy mood. And uh, some guys just, like, keep staring at me, and he drives up next to me. And, like, in my town, I'm thinking, you know, I sleep with this dude's girlfriend, his wife, and what's going on? So I pulled a box cutter out of my car, put it in my pocket, and he rolled down his window. He was like, hey, man. I'm like, yo, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's going on? And he's like, are you RGD85? And I was <laughs> like, oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Like, I had my hand on the blade, like, ready to go. <laughs> You're like, I was about to cut you, bitch. Yeah. Got to be uh, gotta be careful being a YouTube celebrity out there. <laughs> Kevin Jennings. RGT85, RGT85, RGT85. That song at the end of his video is stuck in my head. Rebel Gaming Club made that song. Make sure you check them out. Super cool dudes. Great channel. It wasn't even a question. We got an answer from him sometime. Same. All right, Sean, you ready for the rapid fire round? Let's go. Here we go. Paul Tuttle. Would he be willing to give up smoking for five years to get one big game like Stadium Events, Magical Chase, Little Samson? No. No, fuck that. Uh, ben. <laughs> Uh, ask him if he thinks this is the Hornets' year with Frank the Tank. I think they're gonna uh, they're gonna get to at least the second round in the East. Um, the addition of Dwight Howard was really good. Michael Carter Williams as well. Um, they did good in the draft, so I'm looking forward to this season. Is that sports? Uh, NBA basketball. Oh, okay, good. Um, Chance, uh, what's one thing that you wish you could add to your collection? Games, accessories, consoles, collectible, anything? Panzer Dragon Saga. Okay, I had that one. Uh, you want it? You didn't answer quick enough. Ah. Yep, too bad. Uh, let's see. Bra Bobby, what is the hardest system to collect for price and rarity combined? Saturn. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty damn hard, especially complete. Nice I mean, condition. I guess Neo Geo technically is more, but I don't do Neo Geo, so I would say Saturn. My answer would be like Turbo Duo, tur like the Turbo yeah, CD yeah, stuff. So. Um, Brian asks, what do you think is the appropriate way to price games when selling them? Um... That should be, I think that's a question for me, yeah. not for you. Uh, I mean, yeah. What would you say? I mean, it depends. Um, like, if I get a big lot and I get, you know, a bunch of stuff I already have, I just bought the lot for cheap and I'm buying it for the other things, you know, I usually sell it lower than what market value is. Um, just, you know, it just depends on the item, but, you know, and the circumstance. I use... Actual sold listings on eBay with pictures where you can see the item, the condition, and get a vibe for what that actually sold for, not just something that says something on another website. But anyway, these questions are for you, not me. Uh, Chris, Nathan Drake or Laura Croft? Laura Croft. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in what sense? Any, any, any sense. Any sense. Andy, who watches The Watchmen? Um, the Watchers. Uh, Aaron Sisman. What are your current thoughts on the Wu Tang Clan? Um, I mean, it's not the same anymore. Are um, they around still? I mean, sort of. Like, there's members that are still around, but it's it's, it's not the same. You know, I remember the golden age? I didn't know. Uh, Dallas Sanford, what he did before YouTube? I think we kind of already answered that one. Selling drugs. Selling drugs. And the last one from you guys, what I do is Eric Mills. What is your desert island game? Shenmue. Shenmue. Yeah, you can. <laughs> move boxes around forever. Well, you got you got an arcade in there too. Okay, you, you know, and uh, Shenmue. I love that game. Uh, I guess to end this, you have anything you would want to say to people that maybe in your videos or whatever, like not this kind of context that you just have never said. Um, I don't. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't. I don't know because I'm pretty open on my channel, so yeah, I don't really hide anything. So, um, I'm Italian. 
There you go. I didn't know he was Italian. I think I'm Scottish and Irish. I don't know what else. <laughs> and Scott Squash, uh, Scott Squash. There we go. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, go check out his channel if you have not. You don't know who he is. RGT85. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, whatever you want to do, and of course hit subscribe. I might have passed 50,000 subscribers by the time this is up. If I have, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, love you all. Peace. Later.